Hello and welcome back. I'm Dr. Dustin Portella, board certified dermatologist. Earlier this week, we broke down the skincare routine of Bella Porch, one of the biggest TikTok accounts on the whole platform. She's wildly popular and we looked over her skincare routine to see if it's dermatologist approved. Well, another big TikTok account just talked about their skincare routine today and that was Kat Stickler. And we're gonna be talking about the products that she used from Beekman 1802 and deciding if they are dermatologist approved. Let's get to it. So Kat actually posted this video on the 26th of June talking about a new moisturizer that she found from Beekman 1802. This appears to be an organic post, just a product that she found and that she loved. Now, in the meantime, she has become a brand ambassador for Beekman 1802. I still believe this was probably an organic post and that that organic post and her love for the products led to the relationship as an ambassador and not like a viral marketing technique that was kind of underground before then. Um, it wasn't disclosed that way and she seems like a pretty stand-up person. So she talks about her love for the Beekman products. I want to watch that video together, but before we do, I want you to know this video is in no way sponsored by Beekman 1802, but as a disclosure, I have worked with them on TikTok before to talk about some of their products, but today's review is definitely an unbiased look at their products. You're going to get what I think about the products and if I really approve of them for your use at home. So I've discovered the holy grail of moisturizers and I'm going to share it with you. Also, my okay. skin used to break out a lot and I thought it was because of moisturizers and I'm guessing it was because I'm not my skin is super soft. She's so animated. This is a bloom cream from Beekman 1802. Okay. I've never heard of them. I started using their product and oh my god, first, <laughs> My skin has never looked so healthy. Okay. Second, I feel like my skin is glowing. Like you might need to put on sunglasses. Third, third, no irritation. It goes smooth and it leaves smooth just like that. Also, the ingredients are super clean. Like what? I love it. But that's not even my favorite part. You want to see my favorite part? Let's see you it. squeeze it. It's a flower. It goes. Boom. Sometimes when I put it on, my skin goes like just sucks it all up. <laughs> also, have a great day today. Today is your day. Carpe diem. All right, so she's definitely passionate about the moisturizer, the bloom cream, but there's a few other products. So we'll look at that and we'll look at some of the others that I've personally tried. I haven't used everything in their portfolio, but the bloom cream is one of them. Before we get too much into the products that were shown in the video, let's talk about Beekman 1802 as a company. Who are they? What do they do? How did they get started? Beekman 1802 was started by two gentlemen named Josh and Dr. Brent. They moved to upstate New York and they lived on this farm called the Beekman 1802 farm. The property that they moved into had a bunch of goats on the property and they had a lot of land to upkeep. And during their upkeep, they started taking care of these goats and they were using the goat's milk to make hand soap over the, you know, just at their kitchen table. They started giving this out to neighbors and friends and people were reporting back to them that it was doing wonders for their skin, helping improve acne, rosacea, eczema, all sorts of different things. And they had an idea that maybe they could turn this into something. That's the story that we hear from their website. And it's really quite a nice story. So they've developed this whole company around that story. And they really seem like very good, genuine people. Again, I've had interactions with the company and I really, really love working with them. The other thing about them is they have this kindness initiative. And I want to talk a little bit about that. So the kindness initiative that Beekman 1802 advertises kind of has three different pillars or a legs to it. The first is kindness to the skin. They advertise themselves as a beyond clean brand. Now I've talked about clean beauty elsewhere on TikTok, on uh, Instagram, and here on YouTube. Clean beauty is a marketing term. There's no standardized definition. So when a company claims to be clean beauty, that's in the definition that they adopt. Now, Companies like Sephora have their own definition of clean beauty where all the brands that they bring in that are marketed under clean beauty have to meet a certain definition, but there's no regulation of that. Sephora has set that definition for their portfolio of products that they carry. It doesn't necessarily mean it will be the same definition of clean beauty that you would find from some other store or on some other website. So that's important to understand. But in general, when a company claims to have clean beauty, they're leaving out certain things like phthalates and parabens and fragrance because those in some individuals in rare circumstances have the ability to cause allergic reactions, either eczema on the skin um, or just irritation in general. Now, another aspect of the clean beauty 
is some really drive home the idea that those things that I mentioned, like phthalates and parabens and fragrance, that they're actually toxic. And I don't want anybody to come away thinking that that's the case. Now, I think that's really marketing hype as a way to scare people away from buying products that contain those. And there's a lot of products on the market that I like to use, that I recommend to my patients, that may contain some of those things. The reason is that there's no evidence that has been shown that they're actually harmful in humans at the doses, at the exposure level, that we get when we use these products on a daily basis, particularly on the skin. We're not ingesting them. And things like parabens are found naturally in even many foods that we eat. So I don't think that there's a reason that you need to stay away from them. Now, if you like to use clean beauty products, you certainly can, but use them because you like the products and what they do for your skin, not because you're scared of using other products. That being said, I generally have liked the Beekman 1802 products. We'll talk about some of my more favorite ones and some of the ones I don't like maybe quite as much, but they claim to have a clean for your skin, a kind to your skin philosophy because they leave those things out that sometimes can cause eczema or allergic reactions on the skin. So if you have very sensitive skin, Beekman can be a great brand for you. And that's really what they advertise and they market for because they're kind to the skin. They're really good for sensitive skin. I do tend to have more dry and sensitive skin, and I have not had any irritation when I've used the Beekman products. So I do think that their claim to be kind to the skin is really, really accurate. The second part of the kindness initiative is that they are kind to animals. Obviously, they're making these with goat's milk, with probiotics that come from goat's milk, and they're very sustainable in the way that they use the animals both on their farm and from about 25 other farms around the country because they're a pretty big operation now, so they can't just do it all from their one little farm. So they're very conscious in the way that they treat the animals to make sure that the animals are well cared for. That's part of their kindness initiative is that they're very kind to animals. And lastly, the part of the kindness initiative that I also think is important is that they're very kind to the planet. They work with TerraCycle to make sure that when you're done using their product, you can download and print a shipping label for free. It's no cost to you and send the products, the bottles, the empties in for recycling. So I think that's important because there's so much skincare that is not really easily recyclable that contributes to a lot of waste in landfills. I get products shipped to me every day and sometimes it becomes overwhelming. So I do really appreciate that their approach is really kind to the planet, kind to the environment, because you're going to be using these things and you love the product so much. Hopefully you're buying them again, but you send in your old stuff at no cost for you rather than throwing them in the trash. So we've learned a little bit about the company, the founders. I think that they're a very good company overall. I've had good experiences working with them and their, their products have been good to my skin. So let's take a look at what's inside the box and then we'll dive into each one of the products individually. Now I'm gonna be using their travel kit that they sent to me and we're gonna look at the products in there. So they're gonna be a little bit smaller size than you would get if you were purchasing the full size from them at Sephora or directly from their website but also you can get it in the travel kit if you want something that's TSA friendly. So this is their travel kit. They sent this to me um, as part of their Pride Month promotion, but I think it's exactly the same as you would get during any other time, but we're gonna take it out and take a look at it. Comes in a nice little travel bag and we're gonna look at the travel size products inside. So first off I'm pulling out is the milk drops. We're gonna look at these, each of these individually, but we've got the milk drops. I love the packaging that they have. It really is very nice and they're very good about sustainability in their packaging. All right, next is the Dewy Eyed Illuminating Eye Serum. So this is meant to be on the under eye area. That skin's very thin and very sensitive. So um, having a different product for the eye sometimes is very advantageous. Now this is a small size of their milk wash. This is an exfoliating jelly cleanser. And so we're gonna look at this, but you do get a pretty big size when you buy the real deal. And last up that I pulled out of the package here is the Bloom Cream. This is the probiotic moisturizer, the one that was shown in the video. This isn't gonna have the same pump action mechanism because this is the travel size. So the first product that we're gonna look at is called the Milk Wash. This is the exfoliating jelly cleanser. Now this cleanser is a little bit different in that it's intended to be put on dry skin. Most of the time when you use a cleanser, like we talked about in our cleanser video, you're gonna put that on after you've gotten your skin damp and then you're gonna lather it up. This is meant to be put on dry skin and that way you can just kind of work it in with your fingertips. That way it doesn't necessarily lather up in the same way. This does have a lot of really good ingredients in my opinion. Some of the ingredients here are lactic acid, 
salicylic acid, malic acid, tartaric acid, and like any of the products in the Beekman line, they're made with goat's milk, so you're going to get kind of that probiotic blend. It doesn't have active bacteria in it. You can't actually sell that kind of stuff, but it does have the types of ingredients in it from that goat's milk that will help to promote a healthy microbiome on the skin. We'll put a little bit of this on my hand here. So they call it a jelly cleanser, exfoliating jelly cleanser. It goes on dry skin. And this is just a different experience with a cleanser. I, I've talked about before, I like a cleanser that lathers up really well. And this one is not going to give you that kind of experience. And so this might be good if you're using it as part of a double cleanse. You do want to rinse this with water afterwards. So I might come back and follow up with another gentle cleanser. Again, one of my favorites is the CeraVe Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. This one is just going to be a different experience, but it's a good cleanser. I just haven't found it to be my favorite when I've used it as a solo cleanser. I feel like I need just a little bit more. This travel size retails for $10 and the full size, which is five ounces, retails for $38. I wouldn't have any issue if I had a patient that came to me and this was the primary cleanser that they were using. If we were adding a lot of actives to their skincare routine though, if I'm giving them chemical peels in the office, I'm putting them on a prescription strength retinoid and maybe a prescription strength spot treatment, I may have them switch just to a gentle cleanser that doesn't have all these exfoliating acids in it. Overall, this is a pretty gentle cleanser. It, I don't think it's going to cause a lot of irritation, but you do have several exfoliating acids in there that when combined with lots of prescription treatments may give you a little bit of increased risk of irritation. Next up is the Dewy Eyed Illuminating Eye Serum. This one feels really nice for an eye serum. The texture in this comes from both their goat's milk probiotic blend and sodium hyaluronate or hyaluronic acid. That's one of my favorite skincare ingredients. It feels good. It mixes well with many other products. So the addition of hyaluronic acid is really going to help to give you kind of a glow there under the eyes and help to prevent that puffiness and that kind of dark look that you're trying to avoid with an eye cream. Now, the main active ingredient that they promote in this is Persian silk tree bark extract. The claim is that this helps to fight dark circles and to tighten that under eye skin. The travel size retails for $16 and the full size, which is only a half an ounce, retails for $42. That's really quite a bit of money for an eye cream, but the thing that you need to remember is that eye creams are a luxury type of product. You don't necessarily need one, and so anytime you're dealing with a good eye cream, you're going to start to spend a little bit more money on it. That kind of goes in with my overall skincare philosophy is that everybody needs a gentle cleanser, you need to have a sunscreen, then I would look and make sure you're using an antioxidant in the morning and a retinol or something like that at nighttime. Once you get those foundational skincare elements in, you're going to be giving your skin, I would say 90 to 95% of what it needs. And you can get those things for a pretty reasonable price. Most of the time, there's lots of companies that make those kinds of products. When you start to get into more niche products, like very rich lipid moisturizers with loaded with ceramides or eye creams, you start to spend more money and you get kind of a diminishing return because you've already given your skin 95% of what it needs. So you can only gain another 5%. And most of those products you're going to be spending a lot more for because you need higher concentrations of certain beneficial ingredients. And those come at a premium price. So I think that overall, if you love this eye serum, I think it's a good one. Um, you can get it. I think $42 is pretty reasonable. I certainly sell eye serums and creams in my own dermatology office for double that price or more in some cases. So I think that this overall for an eye serum from a very good brand that's good about sensitive skin, I think you can't go wrong. Next up is the Bloom Cream. This is the product that Kat was raving about in her video, so let's check it out. The Bloom Cream is advertised as a probiotic moisturizer. So this has got ceramides in it in a rich moisturizer that also contains the proprietary blend of goat's milk. Let's take a look at how it feels on the skin. And then we're going to talk a little bit about what else you can do with this, because you'll notice in her video, she showed how it kind of comes out of the bottle like a flower. So when I put this on the skin, it comes out and it's really got a good texture to it. I talked again in Hiram's video reviewing his products about how I thought the moisturizer was maybe a little bit too light for my skin. This one is a lot more rich, a little bit thicker of a moisturizer, and I like it on my skin quite a bit more because I have more dry and sensitive skin. 
And that's probably because that is Beekman's thing, is they really focus on individuals with dry and sensitive skin in helping to avoid things that are going to cause allergic reactions. The Bloom Cream at the full size retails for $54. Again, a little bit more expensive for a moisturizer, but you are paying for a premium product here. You're also supporting their mission and philosophy. And we talked about that a little bit when I discussed the products from Selfless by Hiram it is also supporting kind of a mission and philosophy behind a brand. I do like how most of these products come in a travel size and you can buy those individually. So if you want to try them out before you commit to the full size, you can get the travel size. The travel size for the Bloom Cream Probiotic Moisturizer for a one-time purchase is just $18. So it's a really a bit more reasonable if you want to just try it out before you decide if that's the line for you. Now, when you get the travel kit that I'm showing you here today, you do get a full size of the milk drops. So let's talk a little bit about the milk drops and how you can use those in your skincare routine. The milk drops, I think, are an interesting addition to their skincare line. They do contain ceramide number three, squalane, and hyaluronic acid. Those are all great ingredients which will really help to build and support your moisture barrier. They also contain a little bit lower concentration of natural AHAs and BHAs, so you get just a little bit of gentle exfoliation with that. The milk drops can actually be applied directly to the skin, just like you would apply any other serum. Uh, you can drop it on the face like that, or I like to put it in my palm, dab, and then rub it on. But the thing that's unique about all of the serums from Beekman is that when you use the bloom cream that Kat showed in her video, you push that up, you can actually then drop any of the serums right in the middle of that flower, and then it's mixing really well with the bloom cream, and then you can apply that to the face. This works with the vitamin C serum and with the retinol serum from Beekman 1802, and I think that's an important step for people with really sensitive skin. If you have sensitive skin, you probably already know that sometimes vitamin C or retinol will really cause irritation on your skin. When you do it and you add it to a moisturizer, you're diluting it just a little bit, you're making sure you get a good even application and you're a lot less likely to get irritation on the skin. So that's a little introduction to the Beekman products. The other one that I've used from them are the vitamin C drops and the retinol drops. Their actually the main ingredient is Bakuchiol. They all feel very nice and they work well blended with that probiotic bloom cream moisturizer. I've also used the facial cleansing wipes. I find those pretty nice to keep in my gym bag so that I can clean off as I'm coming out of the gym if I'm not gonna be able to shower right away or go wash my face if I've got something going on with the family. So overall, when I look at the Beekman products, the cleanser I think is great if you always do a double cleanse. I don't always do a double cleanse. I don't like to use it as my sole cleanser. The moisturizer, the bloom cream is a favorite product just like Cat. I think it's really good for people with dry and sensitive skin. The eye cream also going to be great if you're looking for a good eye cream. I think that you certainly could get that one. And again, you're supporting what I think is a really good company. Overall, Beekman 1802 is dermatologist approved, and if you have dry or sensitive skin, I think you really should give it a look. This is a good way to get active ingredients on your skin in a method that I think is really not gonna cause a lot of irritation or aggravation to your moisture barrier because you can mix it in with that bloom cream and moisturize morning and evening. Let me know what you guys thought about the video and let me know if there's other products or companies that you want me to do a review on and let you know if it's dermatologist approved. Thanks for following along. I'm Dr. Dustin Portella, board certified dermatologist. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see when new videos come out every Tuesday or Thursday. I'll see you next time.